Hello and welcome back to Alice Talks Football and in today's video I'm going to be talking about all the latest Manchester United news and transfer news today. Now we're going to be talking about Upamancano and Thiago Alcantara as well as the likes of Donny van der Beek, Fred's future and Chris Smalling's future in this video. So make sure you hit that like button, subscribe down below, share this video and I'm going to discuss all the latest Manchester United news today. Now first things first, Dorney van der Beek is officially a Manchester United player. The medical's done, I talked about this in my last video, we're just waiting for a club announcement but Dorney van der Beek is a Manchester United player and that's going to be announced this week. And what we learned from that Dorney van der Beek deal is that Manchester United can indeed get deals done in two days, under the radar deals under two days. We are in fact looking at players abroad. I was really worried we're going to spend 70 million on Jack Grealish when Donny van der Beek was half the price. So we've learned from the last few days that yes, Manchester United can get deals done quick. Yes, Manchester United are looking abroad. And three, that Solskjaer actually played a part in these deals. And I think Solskjaer is really going to push the board to get the players he wants. Because we know the cycle at Manchester United over the last few years have been back the manager, manager gets fourth. Next season, don't back the manager, manager gets sixth, manager sacked. New manager, back the manager, manager gets fourth, don't back the manager, manager gets sixth, manager gets sacked. That's kind of been the rotation of Manchester United over the last couple of years. But maybe Solskjaer's seen that, he's early on in his career, he wants to improve, he wants to get back. And Solskjaer's really pushing to get moves for the players he wants. Now Donny van der Beek is a great player, I did a video talking about why he's a really good player for Manchester United. So make sure to check that out after this video. But first things first, I want to get into some news from Fabrizio Romano regarding the Manchester United and centre-back situation. We've actually been linked with a couple of centre-backs this summer in Badashil, Gabriel, who's gone to Arsenal, and recently Upamecano. And Fabrizio Romano had some comments on that. Remember, I've said this loads of times on the channel, but Fabrizio Romano is tier one journalist. Like, he says facts. Not rumours, facts. Now he tweeted, Manchester United expect to receive a new bid soon from AS Roma to sell Chris Smalling on a permanent deal. Man United board are also working to sign a new centre-back if a good opportunity will be on the market in the next few weeks. Now, there's going to be a few good opportunities to sign a centre-back and Fabrizio Romano has confirmed that yes, Manchester United are in fact looking at getting a centre-back this summer because when we had lots of transfer rooms and we were linked to centre-backs, I was just like, oh, I believe a right winger and a midfielder is a priority. I don't believe we're going for a centre-back, but it actually seems that, you know, we are looking for a centre-back and if the opportunity arrives, Manchester United Manchester United are in fact going to go for a centre-back and obviously the centre-backs we've been most heavily linked to are Upper Mercado and Badashil. He also talks about Chris Smalling going to AS Roma. Now I believe we'll get 15 to 20 million pounds for Chris Smalling. You know, he's probably going to push that move to AS Roma. You know, he doesn't really have a future at Manchester United. I think we might as well sell him. He's nearly 30. We're probably going to get 15 million for Chris Smalling to go to AS Roma as well. So Chris Smalling is most likely going to be out the door and another centre-back could be in the door. So who is that centre-back going to be? There's been a lot of noise about Upper Mercado and a lot of people have been hyping it up, but I would say don't get too excited right now about the Upper Mancano deal because he only recently signed a contract extension at Leipzig to keep him there till 2023. And even on Twitter, Leipzig were trolling the Man United fans. They like re sort of tweeted the Upper Mancano signing a new contract 2023 announcement showing that, you know, Leipzig don't want to sell him. He is not for sale. He is their player. Although, you know, there are a lot of stories around Upper Mancano, kind of like the Van der Beek thing that just came out of nowhere. I believe that Upper Mancano will be a lot harder to achieve than Van der Beek because one, we have a really good relationship with Ajax and Van der Sar, and two, Ajax were happy to sell Van der Beek, where Leipzig, you know, they don't want to sell Upper Mancano, they want to keep him for another season. But what is the news in Upper Mancano? I'm going to get straight into that. So first things first, we know Manchester United have a long-term interest and significant interest in Upper Mancano. Upper Mancano sees Manchester United as a dream club and RB Leipzig would be likely to ask 42 to 55 million euros this summer and he's reportedly a primary target at centre back. So we know that Upper Mancano would want to come to Manchester United, he sees it as a, as a dream club. We know that Manchester United is surely interested in Upper Mancano. He is basically the best young talented centre back out there. The only thing that worries me about him is one, he's right footed and I think we need a left foot centre back and two, he does have a little bit of an injury record but we know Upper Mancano would love to come to Manchester United. We know that Manchester United would love Upper Mancano. However, it's more about money because we can get him for, I think, 42 million euros, but we have to wait till next summer to trigger his release clause. So if we want to get him this summer, he's going to be quite expensive, but there's a high chance we could get him next summer. The Times said that Solskjaer is ready to make a 37.5 million pound move for the centre half, Dea Upper Mancano, according to The Times. Now, it's from The Times. 
I think with the Upper Mancano story, it could be one that surprises us. We could get Upper Mancano, but I believe that he will be a lot harder to achieve because I do believe that he's not for sale this season. I think Upper Mancano is the type of player I can see us getting next summer. However, if Leipzig decide they want to sell Upper Mancano, then I think we can get him, but I don't think Leipzig want to sell the player. Whereas the Donny van der Beek Ajax were happy to sell him. Now the next story I'm going to talk about is the Thiago Alcantara story. Now Thiago has been linked to Manchester United over the last few weeks and actually reliable journalists have confirmed that we are interested in Thiago. Now it looks like he was going to Liverpool, he's been most heavily linked with Liverpool. Liverpool are the club most in for him but apparently Manchester United will be willing to take the opportunity if it arises and some reliable journalists had some comments to make. So Jan, a reliable journalist who's been on the Jadon Sancho story a lot, came out and said Re Thiago, Manchester United have been in talks with Thiago. So far, Thiago's wage demands are too high to be continued. Saying that, you know, we have been in talks with Thiago. We are interested. It's just we've been put off by his wage demands. And I think that was kind of like with Dabala. We kind of wanted Dabala. We were interested in Dabala, but his high wage demands made us feel like maybe it was a Sanchez situation where the players only come in to us to get high wages. Christian Folk said update Liverpool and Thiago are still in talks with Bayern. Manchester United have not yet submitted an offer. He's saying that yeah Manchester United are interested in Thiago. We've been in talks with Thiago but we have not submitted an offer for Thiago. So it's much more likely that Thiago is going to go for Liverpool because Liverpool sort of in talks about a bid whereas Manchester United we haven't even given an offer for Thiago. The Manchester Evening News go on and talk about the Thiago story saying United are yet to submit a bid for Thiago and seem very unlikely to do so following the signing of Donny van der Beek which I think is true I'd like Thiago at Manchester United I know that we're interested in him but it doesn't look like we're going to make a move I feel like you know he's 29 he's got high wage demands I think Manchester United might take a step back from this one but I'm sure we are interested in him but we haven't made a bid it, it doesn't look like we really, really want him now. We've got Donny van der Beek over the line. The Manchester Evening News continue up by saying central midfield is well down the list of priorities now. They've signed, obviously, van der Beek out of Trafford this summer with right wing, central defence, left back and centre forward being arguably more important. And I do believe that's true. Now we've got a midfielder and I think we want a right winger and a centre back next, possibly then followed by a CDM and a striker. That's what I generally think. And I think Thiago Alcantara is more box to box. He's more similar to Pogba and Van der Beek and Fred. And that brings me on to the future of Fred. There's news about Fred to Galatasaray. What would the future of Fred mean? And I think if we got Thiago, Fred would go. Fred would go, yeah. But I don't believe that Fred is leaving Manchester United. Obviously, we signed Donny van der Beek, but as we saw in the Europa League, Fred was taking on that Matic role, that CDM role, and I think that CDM role is going to be filled by Fred and Matic. I don't think Van der Beek's really going to put, be put in that CDM role. I think Van der Beek's going to be more in the Pogba Bruno role, and then we're going to have Fred and Matic in that deeper role. So I don't think Van der Beek affects the future of Fred because I think they'll be playing in different positions. That's my honest opinion. A lot of people are like, what's going to happen to Fred and McTominay? It's like, Maybe McTominay could be most problematic from this because I don't believe McTominay is a CDM. I think McTominay would be better in the Pog role, but I do believe he brought Van der Beek to be challenging Pogba and Bruno for that role. And I think Fred, as we saw in the Europa League in the last couple of games, did quite well in the Matic, more defensive role. And I always think that Fred is better defensively. Now that is all the latest Manchester United transfer news and news today. I think most significantly today, it's been a lot quieter than the last couple of days, but we have learned that Manchester United are in for a centre-back and obviously the two centre-backs we've been linked with the most are Upper Meccano and Badashil, so there could be some interesting updates on them lately. I do believe the Upper Meccano deal could happen, but I think it could be a lot harder. I think it's more likely to be a next summer signing, considering that we can trigger his release clause next summer. But Badashil, we know we made a £25 million offer for him, so if we up that offer, Badashil could be the centre-back we get. And for Fabrizio Romano says, if the opportunity arises, well, we have the opportunity to get Badashil if we up the money. But that is all the latest Manchester United transfer news. If you haven't already, please hit that like button, subscribe down below, share this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.